Okay, this video is just going to be covering the acrylic powder that I'm going to start my acrylic line with. These are some samples. And I just wanted to do some swatches and show you how the acrylic lay on the nail once applied. So this is a white sample. This is a nude sample. And this is a pink, like a soft pink sample. So we're going to start with the white and I just put like the little false nail tips on the um, practice finger. And we're going to go ahead with that. But I'm going to swatch the white first on the paper towel. And then we're going to apply it to the nail so y'all can see. And I am using this with CND retention. Pick up well. You lay smooth to me. We're going to go in with the next color. So y'all can see how it looks before I apply it on the nail. This is the new. I'm just panning it off in the powder so you can see. That is a pretty nude. We're gonna go in with the soft pink. Kind of get it on the back of my brush. That wasn't intended. But anywho, these are the three colors that I'm testing now. Pink, nude, white. So we're gonna go in with the practice nail. Cause look, it's hanging so small, but it's fine. Pick up well, this is how it looks. And I'm just gonna take it off my brush. Like they say, lay like butter. I'm just gonna go in with a little acrylic juice and work it down so y'all can see how smooth it is when it's laid. You can make the brush wet if you want it to be a little thinner, thin it out a little bit more. But it's stretched out far enough so it won't be looking translucent. So I'm gonna go in with another bead. And I'm gonna stick it halfway down the tip. Stick my brush back in the juice so I can get a little control. Run it down. Okay. <laughs> okay, show me something. Show me something. Okay. And I'm gonna go go ahead and fill in the back, even though I really didn't want to put none back there because I was gonna be taking this finger off, the nail off. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back there. Damn it! But anywho, I'm gonna cover this right here. This how it lay. I didn't you put it all over the nail because I'm it's just a practice hand. I don't want to use it all just on. Practice week, I just wanted to show you guys how we lay out on the nail, over the nail, and how buttery it is, and the consistency of the powder and the monomer together. But I do like this powder, and I wouldn't be selling anything if I didn't like it myself. But I do like it. Okay, you'll be seeing a transition to a different clip of the video. I had to stop the video after I laid the white acrylic. And no, I did not build the nail up. I just wanted to show examples of how the acrylic lay over the nail in the product. So we're going to move on to the next color, which is the beige nude looking color. And we're going to put that on the nail. Y'all finna see me do my double deluxe dip up in this acrylic powder and y'all gonna see how we lay out on the nail. When I say I actually love this acrylic, I wouldn't be sending you guys anything that I wouldn't want to use myself. And it's gonna be more colors than this. This is just the um, sample colors that I was sent. But it's gonna be a whole variety of colors, over 30 plus colors. And yes, I will be having glow in the dark acrylic as well. You will have two options, either you want them without glow or you want it with glow. And
babes since this video not really long i really can talk throughout the video i know you guys love hearing my voice anyways but yes i am using the cnd retention liquid monomer and i am going to test it out with other monomers just to make sure it is compatible with all others but as you can see the acrylic is laid out smooth as it can be i love it it is not too thin it is not too chalky it's just the right mystery you guys finna see me go back and feel that the second bead that i placed down backwards because i can tell i don't know if you guys can tell by the video but i can tell where i placed the second bead at the separation in between the two so with me just feathering the second bead back it just smooths it out make it look like i just laid one bead down and it looks so good I'm going to go back in with a little more acrylic because I said I was going to build this nail up with the olive acrylic. But I really didn't build the nail up because I normally encapsulate my color with clear acrylic. But I did put some back at the critical of the nail, which I really didn't want to because I had plans on just popping up um, false tip off and not having trouble taking it off. But I went on to put it back at the critical so it can give it the realistic look. I'm back with part two of building the nail up and show you guys the critic because my baby was screaming. I know y'all heard that in the background. But anywho, I'm gonna go in and just to build the nail up, show y'all how it would look if I was doing this on a real person hand anyway. You guys know I normally encapsulate with clear, but I'm not doing all that. This wasting product right now. Because my goal is just to show y'all about the acrylic that I got. okay moving on to the next color it is going to be this soft pink that i was telling you guys about at the beginning of the video this is the third nail and the third different powder that we are testing out and it's basically the same thing it lay out the same thing smooth and so pretty you guys like i said before it's gonna be a variety of colors for you guys to choose from glow in the dark or you can have the option without having glow in the dark but i know a lot of girls love their glow in the dark effect but anywho the line will be dropping soon i am pushing for my one year anniversary of me doing this which is january the first 2021 i wanted my line to drop then but the feedback that i'm getting from my acrylic line i think it's going to be before i really wanted to wait to my one year anniversary so i can have a, something really to celebrate about but it seems like I'm going to have to drop my acrylic line before. I don't know what day, but it might be sooner than you guys think. So, you guys, be on the lookout. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. So, y'all can get notifications on when I drop videos. Updates on my acrylic lines. Updates on when I do the swatches for all the different colors of acrylics. So, you guys can see what you will be purchasing. Thank you for all the good feedback that you guys be leaving me in the comments. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for everything. Thanks for even subscribing to my channel. Thanks for all the love. And I can't wait to show you guys love on you guys' videos for my other subscribers and my other YouTubers. Thanks for everything. For the newbies that's new to my channel, 
thank you. I'm welcoming you with open arms. Make sure you join the team and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell on the side of the subscribe so you can get notifications as well. Make sure you support your girl with her critic line drops. Thanks for everything. Anyways, back to the video. You guys can see how that acrylic look, y'all. I love it. I just, I can't even come up with any more words. But besides, I love it. Like, you guys, look how it look. Y'all can tell how it lay. It's just smooth. It's not chalky looking. You don't have to have your brush soaking wet just for it to move. Like, it's just perfect. It's just perfect, yeah. And I can't wait to you guys order and use it. Give me good feedback on it. And honest reviews on how do you like the product. Like, I want to see the honest feedback. Even if you don't like it, I hope everyone do like it. But even if you don't, I accept all feedback so we can improve more. Okay, you guys finna see the final look of the acrylic. This is without being encapsulated with any clear. This is without any um, gel top coat or any top coat at all. This is just basic acrylic. This is how good it looks. 